Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use SSH or Secure Shell to remotely connect to a, a device. So the device you're connecting to remotely might be in a different room, it could be in a different city, or it could be even in a different country. As long as you know the IP address and you have internet connectivity to it, you should be able to remote into it. Okay, so what what we'll start by is we you need to determine the IP address of the remote device. So in this case, I'm gonna be trying to remote into a, a Kali Linux machine. Uh, so we'll go back, we'll start by finding out the IP address. So I've, I'm on the Kali Linux machine. I'll use the IP address command, and the IP address here is 192.168.1.252. So on my host machine that I'm going to be using to do uh, the remote connection, um, it, it, there's different applications you can use for sec uh, secure shell or for uh, SSH. On my machine, I have uh, secure CRT. So secure CRT allows you to do a remote connection using SSH. But before I, I I start the uh, remote connection. I just want to verify. Want to verify on that machine that it's enabled for the SSH server is enabled. So on Kali Linux, uh, there's a few commands you can type to verify whether the services are indeed enabled, and also if they are not enabled, how do you and how, how to enable those services. We can use the command sudo system ctl status ssh and it says here it's loaded and it's active and it's running so now that we've verified it's running there's also another setting so you just you want to go into the actual config file for ssh and make sure that there is some specific lines that by default are disabled for instance, if you're trying to log in as a root user, or if you're trying to use a password, you might not be allowed to log in if those uh, either they're not allowed or if they're commented out. So you can check that using, so the file itself, the name of the file is uh, sshd uh, underscore config. And you can, you can look at the file by using the cat command. So this is the file. This is what you have in the file. So the the main two items you want to look for is whether login uh, login via password is allowed, and also if it's you're trying to log in as a root user, you want to make sure that that's allowed as well. So you want to make sure that this one is not commented out. Or it's not saying no at the end. And also there is uh, one for the password. So you, you'll have to look for it and make sure that you're, it's allowing password authentication. So you should say yes and not no, and it shouldn't be commented out. So once you've verified that, now you can go back to the um, your local machine that you're trying to remote into that uh, the remote machine with. So on my computer, I'm gonna be using Windows 10 and I'm using secure CRT here. So I'll start a new connection, a new session here, and I'll select uh, SSH. So the IP address here, we, we know it was 192.168.1.252. The, port, the, the default port is 22 for SSH. You can put here a username, then next, next. You can give your session a name, like this one, I can say Kali. Uh, VMware. Next. 
when finish then you can check this, the properties of that connection uh, so you, you have to make sure that the key the key types are as you have the correct ones if you have you don't have the correct ones checked you might get a an error message when you try to connect to it so for instance if let's try this one without checking all these uh, keys key types so if I cancel and then I try to connect to it by double clicking you see how it's gonna it's gonna fail there's a, a bunch of different keys here that it supports that we didn't check so that's why it says that key exchange uh, failed. Now, to fix that, you just have to make sure that if you go to properties and go to SSH under key exchange, just make you can check all this. Now, if you try to connect again. It's gonna ask now it's asking for a password. And now we are logged in. And you can type who am I to see who's logged in. And that's that's how you remote into a a, a Kali Linux machine uh, using uh, SSH. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.